David invested certain amount in three different schemes A, B and C with the rate of interest 10, 12 and 15 percent per annum respectively. If the total interest accrued in one year was Rs 3200 and the amount invested in scheme C was 150 percent of the amount invested in scheme A and 240 percent of the amount invested in scheme B, what was the amount invested in scheme B? So the total interest accrued in one year was 3200. That means that if I add all the interest, I get 3200. So 3200 will be equal to the interest got from scheme A, that is PNR upon 100, let the amount invested in scheme A be A. So P is A times N is one year times the rate is 10 upon 100 plus the interest got from scheme B, that's B times 1 times the rate is 12%, 12 by 100, plus the interest got from scheme C, and that's C times 1 times the interest was 15%, so 15 by 100, right? 3200 0, 0 times 100, so add two more zeros, is equals to 10A plus 12B plus 15C. So this is equation 1. Note that A, B and C are the amounts invested in schemes A, B and C respectively. Now it has been given that the amount invested in C was 150% of the amount invested in scheme A. So we have C is equals to 150% of A, isn't it? So I have 5 times 3 is 15 and 5 times 2 is 10. So therefore C is equals to 3 by 2 A. Right? Or in other words, A is equals to 2 by 3 C. So we have this. It is also said that um, the amount invested in scheme C was also 240% of the amount invested in scheme B. So again, C is equals to 240% of B. Right? So these zeros get cancelled out and 2 times 12 is 24 and 2 times 5 is 10. So we have C is equals to 12 by 5 B. Right, let that be equation 2. Now putting the value of C in this equation A equals to 2 by 3 C, we get 2 by 3 times C is 12 by 5 B. So 12 by 5 B. Right, so 3 times 4 is 12. So this is 8 by 5 B. So therefore A is equals to 8 by 5 B. This is equation 3. Now what you want is the amount that was invested in scheme B. So if you put the values of C and A in equation 1, that means if you put equation 2 and 3 in equation 1, you'll get the value of B. Right? So I have 3 lakhs 20,000 is equals to 10 times A, that means 10 times 8 by 5B, plus 12B, plus 15 times 12 by 5B, right? So 12 by 5B. So 5 times 2 is 10, here 5 times 3 is 15, right? So 3 lakh 20,000 will be equals to 8 to the 16B, plus 12B, plus 12 threes are 36, so 36 B. So 64 B is equals to 3 lakhs 20,000. So therefore B is equals to 3 lakh 20,000 divided by 64 and that is equals to 5,000 rupees. So the amount invested in scheme B was 5,000 rupees. So option A is the correct answer. A person invested in all rupees 2600 at 4%, 6% and 8% annum simple interest. At the end of the year he got the same interest in all three cases. What is the money invested at 4%? Now this person got same interest in all the three cases. Let that interest be I. And let the money invested in 4%, 6%, and 8% per annum simple interest be A, B, and C respectively. 
and this person invested in all 2600 so I can write a plus b plus c is equal to 2600 now as the interest is same right so we can write that the interest got at 4% will be equal to interest got at 6% so I have PNR upon 100 as the formula the principal invested in 4% is A so A times N is we have annual interest so 1 times R that's 4 upon 100 and that is equal to V times 1 times 6 upon 100 and that is also equals to the interest got at 8% so I have C times 1 times 8 upon 100, right? So these hundreds get cancelled out. I have 4A is equals to 6B is equals to 8C. In other words, if I divide all of these by 2, I have 2A equals to 3B equals to 4C. So therefore, I can write B is equals to 2 by 3A. This is one thing. And C is equals to 2 by 4A, okay? And now put these values of B and C in this equation. A plus B plus C is equal to 2600. So I have A plus B's value is 2 by 3A plus C's value is 2 by 4A. And that's 2600. Right. Now A is the money invested at 4%. And that's what we have to find out. So the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So this is 12A plus 3 4s are 12. So 2 times 4a plus 4 3s are 12 so 2 times 3a that's 2 6 double 0 so I have 12a plus 8a plus 6a is equal to 2600 times 12 right so 12a plus 8a is 20a plus 6a is 26a and that's 2600 times 12 so therefore a is equal to 2600 times 12 by 26 so cancelling out this gives you 100 100 times 12 is 1200 and that is the amount invested at 4% so option D is the correct answer divide rupees 2379 into three parts so that their amounts after two three and four years respectively may be equal the rate of interest being 5% per annum at simple interest. What is the first part? Now, 2379 is divided into three parts. Let these three parts be x, y, and z. So I can write x plus y plus z is equal to 2379. And these parts are invested for two, three, and four years at 5% per annum simple interest. Right. Now it is also said that their amounts after 2, 3 and 4 years respectively may be equal. So this means that if I write x plus the interest on x will be equal to y plus the interest on y will be again equal to z plus interest upon z. Let that be i3. Right. So this way we can find out the relation between x, y and z. So what is the formula for interest? That's PNR upon 100. So I have X plus principal is again X times X is invested for 2 years. So 2 into rate is 5%. So 5 upon 100 is equal to we have Y plus Y times the number of years are 3 times 5 by 100 will be again equal to we have Z plus Z times number of years are 4 times 5 by 100 right and when you solve all of this you'll get 11x by 10 equals to 23y by 20 will be equal to 6z by 5 now the question is asking you what is the first part so from this relation let us express y and z in terms of x so I can write y is equals to 11x by 10 times 20 by 23. So I have this is 22x by 23. So this is the value of y. What is the value of z? So z is equals to again 11x by 10 times 5 by 6. So 5 
2s are 10 and therefore we have the value of z as 11x by 12. So let us put these two values of z and y in this equation 1 to get the value of x. So from equation 1 we have x plus y is 22x by 23 plus z is 11x by 12 and that is equals to 2379. Now to save time I have solved this for you. When you solve this you will get 828 as the value of x. So our answer is option D.